fantastic fossil finds in the ice to sea spiders from your nightmares. Here are 11 strange discoveries in Antarctica. This is Mystery Mondays. Number 11. A huge structure found buried in the Antarctic was located by Google Earth, claimed to measure more than 14 miles long. It has provoked a lot of speculation as to what it could be. What appears to be a bright white rectangular formation was showcased in a video uploaded to YouTube in 2012, but to date, no definitive explanation has been offered for what the strange formation might be. At an estimated 14 and a half miles by 4 and a half miles, guesses about what the mysterious structure might be have ranged from a UFO to a secret research facility. What do you think? Now, we usually think of penguins as coming with their basic black and white ensemble, but every now and then, a penguin shows up wearing all white. Such was the case with this chin strap penguin. He was found waddling about the HO Islands of Antarctica by photographer David Stevens during an expedition there. You can see the critter in contrast to a penguin with its standard coloration. While you might think the whitish bird is an albino, such is not the case. Albinism is caused by a lack of melanin. This critter is leukistic. Leukism causes a partial loss of pigmentation, and you can see the penguin's coloring ranges from a tan beige to stark white. Leukistic penguins are known to live and breed normally, and with the rate of the condition occurring in chinstrap penguins at 1 in 146,000, this is a rare bird indeed. Yet another strange structure spotted on Google Earth has baffled the internet and produced some colorful theories. A satellite image of the Antarctic depicts what appears to be a series of ridges that have a formation similar to that of stairs. Some have speculated the odd formation is the result of a weight bearing down and pressing the saw-toothed pattern into the snow, perhaps caused by, yes you guessed it, a UFO. Other formations spotted in images of Antarctica from Google Earth include dome-shaped structures thought to have been built by an ancient civilization. Although it may not appear so on the surface, Antarctica is host to a thriving ecosystem, one that is located more than a mile deep in the ice. Researchers discovered a lake buried under one and a half miles of ice. Lake Willens has been isolated from the rest of the world for millions of years. Microscopic organisms that thrive on the natural ammonium and methane of the environment were discovered, and it's the first direct evidence that life can exist far below the Antarctic ice sheet. Many of the microbes found belong to the archaea, a family of microbes distinct from bacteria. Archaea comprises one of three domains of life on the planet, along with bacteria and eukaryotes, those being organisms whose DNA is contained in the nucleus of a cell, which includes humans. Experts think the findings will help them better understand how organisms evolve to survive in conditions of extreme cold and darkness. In 2016, researchers discovered more than a ton of fossils in Antarctica. The huge hall of bones was dated at around 71 million years old and included fossils of birds and prehistoric marine reptiles like the plesiosaur, along with a large amount belonging to the Mosasaurus, who became a breakout star in Jurassic World. While some dinosaur remains were also found, no specifics were provided. The treasure trove of fossils was found during an expedition to James Ross Island, located hundreds of miles south of Chile. The 12 scientists were said to be impressed with the quality of the fossils and think they will help provide a clearer picture of what life in the region was like during the end of the dinosaurs. Emperor penguins stand the tallest of all penguin species, so you might imagine that a colony of some 9,000 of those big birds would be difficult to miss. But in fact, this large colony was unknown to researchers until 2009. That's when scientists studying satellite images of Antarctica noticed the penguins' trails of droppings. After four years of searching, those trails led the researchers to Antarctica's Princess Ragnold Coast, where they finally located those penguins in 2012. Until their arrival, the birds had never before encountered humans and were said to be far more curious of their visitors then they were scared. British researchers have reported finding tunnels underneath an Antarctic ice shelf that are nearly as tall as the Eiffel Tower, which measures 984 feet 
not counting the broadcast antenna on top. The ice tunnels are estimated at around 820 feet and were detected while flying over West Antarctica's Filchner-Rona ice shelf. The plane's radar, along with satellite photos, showed that formations like ridges and cavities on the surface of the ice shelf corresponded to tunnels located at the base. Experts think the tunnels were created by water formed by melting ice, or meltwater. That meltwater is thought to have flowed below the ice sheet, then over land and into the sea. Experts plan to use the findings about the tunnels in an effort to predict how climate change will affect the rate of that ice shelf melting. Sea spiders can be found all over the world. They're actually marine arthropods and can normally range in size from around a millimeter to around 25 centimeters. But with Antarctica, it's another story. Sea spiders can grow to massive sizes with leg spans up to 90 centimeters. With eight long legs and a proboscis to match, the creatures grow larger in this region than anywhere else in the world. They represent a phenomenon called polar gigantism. That condition is also found found in other animals, such as certain mollusks, which are known to grow larger at the North and South Poles. Scientists still are not sure how to explain the phenomenon. One hypothesis holds that the creature's greater size is connected to a higher concentration of oxygen in cold waters, and there is a higher content of oxygen found in seawater off the Antarctic coast. So that, combined with slower metabolisms due to colder temperatures, could lead to the creatures having larger bodies. Now, this may look like the result of photoshopping, but these icebergs are real, and they're found not only in Antarctica, but north to the Arctic Circle as well. The stripes found in the icebergs can range in color from blue, black, and even green. The bizarre patterns are the result of frozen meltwater that combines with sediment, algae, and immense pressurization. When gaps in the icebergs are filled with meltwater and freeze, the blue striping occurs. Darker markings occur from sediment collected during the iceberg's development or when it's still connected to a glacier by an ice shelf. When algae found in seawater freezes to the bottom of the icebergs, green veins are the result. And as you can see, the effects can appear as if someone spilled green paint right down that iceberg's slope. Until recently, scientists were baffled by a huge impact crater located in Antarctica, one that measured an incredible two kilometers wide. The mysterious ring-like anomaly was observed by researchers during a routine survey flight over East Antarctica. It was described as a type of circular scarring in the ice sheet, which surrounded what appeared to be broken icebergs and additional scarring in the ice. So what could have produced such a strange structure in the normally flat and featureless ice scape? The formation was the result of a meteorite, one that measured an estimated 7 to 10 meters wide and would have exploded in the sky above Antarctica with a force equal to 12,000 tons of dynamite. Experts believe the meteorite would have arrived in 2004, and that's based upon findings from two separate studies. One study cited a dust trail observed in the atmosphere around September of 2004, and the other offered evidence of low-frequency sounds detected by six global infrasound detectors. The low-frequency sounds of the exploding meteorite were picked up in September of 2004 as well. That information allowed experts to pinpoint where the meteor fell, and it matched the location of the enormous crater discovered at the King Bodwin Ice Shelf. Now, we earlier showed you some icebergs with some bizarre striping patterns. So here's a location in East Antarctica that looks as if it could be a murder scene. The gory-looking location is named, appropriately enough, Blood Falls. The unsettling color isn't the result of foul play, however. The coloration is partially the result of a brine liquid discharge that flows from Taylor Glacier. The discharge is rich in iron oxides, which helps to result in a reddish hue. But researchers have also discovered that the brine is part of a saltwater aquifer network that extends over 1,100 feet below the ice. The network of salty lakes is thought to contain microbial life which alters the brine's iron and sulfur compounds as part of its survival. When the liquid oxidizes at the surface, the bloody coloration results. Experts say the network of saltwater lakes is located underneath the McMurdo Dry Valleys, 